Good morning. I am in my school uniform right now. I'll do a video about that, like my whole uniform, because this is kind of like spring style. And I am about to leave for school in the next 10 or 15 minutes. And today I will record my whole journey to school. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So every morning I wake up at about 6.15 and I get ready for school. I have to take my bike about 40 minutes to get to school so it's quite a journey and at first I really 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 hated it and I really wanted to. I, I didn't know how I was going to survive a year. But like now I'm pretty used to it and like you know, I actually enjoy that time. I get to have a little exercise and I eat so many snacks so it's really nice. So throughout my day, um, you know there are a lot of cars in the morning and it's pretty pretty busy so at first I was really afraid of the cars around me and I'd bike so slowly and I'd be so afraid and when I got too afraid I'd just get off my bike and walk. And it's, it was really embarrassing and um, I'm not really used to riding bikes at all because I live in New York and kids don't really ride their bikes at all because you know it's really busy and you pretty much only ride in the park and I never had a bike so I haven't ridden a bike in such a long long time. So at first biking in Japan was so scary and I really didn't like it at all. But now I'm really used to it and it's okay. Like I, I think like I can bike one hand with me now and I'm getting a lot better at riding my bike and I can, you know, not be so focused on like going in a straight line. I can just do it, you know? So it's really nice that I got to progress. In the mornings, I meet my friends at this convenience store called Circle K, and we meet there every morning, and we go to school together. At first, I was really dependent, dependent on them, and I really needed them to help me get to school because I had no idea how to get to school at all, but now I can go by myself, but I like the company of other people. It's fun. And so in the mornings, I ride with my friends Maya and Mayu and Chisato. And we talk about various things, like our weekend in school, and how much we really don't want to participate in gym, which can kind of be really sucky sometimes, but it's okay, because everyone is suffering together. And I really like pa passing by here because I get to see Mount Fuji. It's so pretty sometimes. Like, I think now that it's getting closer to summer, there's less snow, so it looks kind of lame. But in the winter, I've heard it's so beautiful because there's so much snow on it. It looks so nice. And um, the first hill that I have to climb during my bike ride is this one. It's a struggle sometimes, and it's really hot, but it's not as bad as the second hill, which you'll see later. Yeah, it's scattered in like, just random places. Yeah, I don't think it's as such a public 
of a big deal if your house is next to a graveyard in Japan because there's so many and they're just kind of like everywhere but they're like really small or they're just scattered everywhere so that's something different. Sometimes you can see the bullet train. Oh, Shinkansen is a bullet train in Japanese. And sometimes you can see the bullet train like, racing by. It's really cool. To the right, we have a shrine. Like, it's some little shrine or temple, and it's like, really cute and small and nice. Yeah, I want to go there someday and just look around. I see kids playing in there sometimes, so. And next, we have like, this house that they call the Tokyo House. It looks like the house that was in the movie My Neighbor Totoro. And this house, um, sometimes cats pass by and I always say good morning to them because it's so cute and I love it. And here we come to a railroad track. 
and every morning I have to cross it and sometimes the train stops me and it's kind of entertaining to go by but um, once you get used to it, it's kind of annoying like okay, come on train, hurry up so that's something and next up we have the Meiji Chocolate Factory and this is one of my favorite parts of passing throughout the day because every morning it smells like chocolate or sweets in the morning it smells so good like, I don't know, sometimes my friends hate it, but I always love it. Always love it. it smells so good. Love it. One of my favorite parts of the journey. And here, where we're passing, in the springtime, there are sakura blossoms that bloom here, and it's so pretty. Oh, I, I wish I could have taken a video back then, but um, I didn't really think about it, so I won't be able to see them again, because I'll be leaving before spring happens, but it's really nice in the springtime. Here we have the hill. This is the challenging hill that I... It, it's really difficult for me to climb sometimes, but since I've adjusted the seat of my bike recently, I've been able to like bike up this hill like almost every time, so that's nice. But this hill is really challenging, it's so steep, and most of the time before, I just get off my bike and walk, because it, it was just so steep. And my friends did that too, and you know, they're Japanese kids, they've been riding bikes since they were six, so... They can't do it. It's a pretty tough, tough hill. So yeah. at my high school and my high school is pretty nice it, it was recently like rebuilt in like 2010 or something so it still looks pretty new, new and modern so that's nice so this is the bike parking lot and everyone who rides a bike to school parks their bike there and there are different sections for different grades in school so the first years are like upstairs and the second year they're downstairs and there's another house like across from this one the house is the third year bikes so yeah my bike is on the ground level because I'm a second year here and you have your own number where you park your bike and yeah <laughs> 